Today, I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to replace a headlamp assembly. And this is happening on 2007 Kia Spectra. So we're going to be moving from this broken piece of headlamp to a new used headlamp assembly. And I'm going to tell you one of the advantage of changing into using a, a used headlamp is because when you look on the other side, we already have a used headlamp, which has been there. So when we change with a, another used headlamp, they are going to be in uniform. And you will never tell whether I ever change a headlamp. So let's get started. My name is Jeff Carbo and welcome back to my channel. If you're not a subscriber, remember to hit that red subscribe button. So without further ado, let's go to the tools that we're gonna need for this project. And here we're gonna need a flashlight, an extension, um, a quarter inch drive. We are also gonna need a, a quarter inch drive a ratchet and uh, with a 10 millimeter uh, socket magnet retriever a screwdriver this is just to mention but a few you might need other tools here and there but let's get to it so uh when you look here uh this headlamp assembly uh it's being held uh by three uh bolts there's one here and another one here and below down there there is another uh, bolt but to get that one you need to get the battery out and this panel need to get out as well so in order for us to be able to take this panel out we need a screwdriver cross tip preferably will work better So here I just screw, unscrew the, those fastener and they will come right out. Now from here, what we need now is to uh, remove the battery and we start by disconnecting the main negative terminal. After you disconnect the main negative, now you can uh, safely remove the, uh, the main positive. And in this case, we were using a 10 millimeter socket with a, a quarter inch drive ratchet. Now from here, we got uh, to take off this um, battery hold down uh, plate. That is, that's the plates that keep the battery uh, firm from moving. And to take it out, you need a, an extension. This is why we're gonna need our extension here. All right, as you can see, it's way down there. That's why we need that extension. It comes in handy when it comes to that. And our flashlight is uh, making us able to see the hard to reach area and then our magnet retru retriever tool that's how you use it in this case <clears throat> and our battery is loose coming out and next step we're gonna take out the two bolt from the top using the 10 millimeter socket and they are easy Using the right tool, they are coming right out, as you can see. Now the the both are remaining, the bottom one there. We need to take this pipe out, just wiggle it, and get it out of your way. And so the bolt uh, right here is also need a 10, uh, 10 millimeter socket. So this project is super easy when you have the right tool and a, 
I'm going to attach all the tools I'm using on the on the description of the video. I'm going to share the link where you can buy them at a very good deal. And now our headlamp is ready to be coming out. Now all I'm going to do, I'm going to show you, grab it from the bottom right here and uh, try to lift it up, uh, wiggle it, and it's going to come out right here. As you can see, it's out. Um, now all we need is to unplug those lights. So down here is a, that's a turn signal. That's the and then below there is the main uh, socket for high beam and low beam. I'm gonna start with the turn signal. You turn it counterclockwise, and it's gonna come right out. Be careful with it so you not uh, break it. You don't break it and here comes the the parking lights and now the main uh socket for headlamp is uh, the high beam and the low beam that's the main plug and now we got uh the head headlamp assembly is all the way out now as you can see and we are done with the first one, how to, re how to remove a headlamp assembly from 2007 Kia Spectra. And that's how the Kia Spectra look without a headlamp. That's the old uh, broken piece of headlamp. So what we're going to do here, we're going to see what, uh, what good components that we can transfer from the old to the new one and start off here we got a, a bad gasket so that gasket is uh, is worn out so we're gonna replace that uh, let's check uh, from the old uh, headlamp it look good so what we're gonna do here is transfer that cap to the new one and from look of things I don't think I need anything else from this old piece of headlights So what I'm gonna uh, do here now is I'm gonna take also these uh, bulbs. These a uh, turn signal. I don't need it. So take it out. And also I, I also have the parking. That's a parking lights. And uh, our new headlamp assembly is ready to be installed. So the first step. We can start with the any plugin, and this is the, this is the main uh, headlights, high and low beam, and all you need is to line up the plug, and it's gonna come right in. The turn signal is not gonna be easy getting in there, because uh, there's these tabs right here, uh, you need to line them up properly, because those these tabs are not the same size. So if you look uh, here, you're gonna see these tabs right here. This one this is a big tab right here. So if you line that, that with the, uh, the opening, that bulb is gonna, uh, it's gonna plug in there uh, perfectly. So it took me a while before I figured that out, but I got it in. And the same case with, uh, with the parking light. But don't worry, if you follow this video step by step, you're going to get it right. All you need is to be patient with it. Uh, line it up correctly and it's going to be, it's going to plug in there perfectly. Now from here, I'm just going to install the battery real quick and test the lights especially the uh, high beam i'm gonna check all the lights make sure everything is working good before um bolting anything together so install the battery the same process we took it out in the same process uh you start with the main positive 
and then you finish with the main negative. Now we're gonna test the lights, make sure they're working real quick. And that's a packing, they're working. Uh, low beam, it's good. Turn signals are working. And the high beam, yep, the high beam is working. All right, everything is working perfectly. So now we can go ahead and install our our headlamp and it's the same process we we uh, we used to take the old one out we just gonna reverse that by and install starting from the bolt from the bottom down there but we still need that this battery out so I did the battery out so we're gonna start with this bolt like here and everything uh, bolting down just like we took them out And I want to take this opportunity also to thank you guys for supporting Jeff Carboy channel. Uh, well, it not for you guys, I wouldn't be doing, I wouldn't be recording this. I will be doing this, but I, would, I wouldn't be recording this. So I'm just, it's because you guys keep motivating me. Uh, right now we have uh, 1,100 subscribers. Thank you guys. And if you haven't become my subscriber, please, Take this opportunity and just click the red subscribe button. Click it like you mean and until it change the color to gray. <laughs> and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Yeah, if you have any opinions um, or you have any, any suggestion, uh, please share your comments on the comment section on, on this video. And uh, we are winding up here, installing the last op uh, item, which is this uh, plastic panel. And after this, we are done for this project. And like I said, all tools uh, that I, I use here, I'm going to attach them on the description i'm going to attach a link on the description of this video and as you can see all the lights are working perfectly so thank you very much for watching stay tuned